my makeup looks a little weird. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I would say that this was a very creative, but sort of springtimey makeup week, and it was all about the inner corner highlights. So I was loving some inner corner highlight this week, um, but also just kind of like creative highlighting as well. So got some favorites that are in that category and then some other things too. So let's get to it. First thing that I was loving this week on my eyes, I was really enjoying this Naked Cosmetics palette that I got in my BoxyCharm box and it doesn't have a name on it. So I guess it's just Naked Cosmetics palette, but got it in my BoxyCharm and I'm really enjoying this. So I don't think I did an eye look with this one this week, but I know I wore this one on St. Patty's Day and then I'm wearing this one today and I wore this one other day. These are really pigmented and really beautiful. Now I believe that this palette is like $40 retail price so I don't know that I would pay that unless it was like a sale or something to get a little bit lower than that. Um, I mean, these are really nice, but $40 for three shadows is, you know, up there. But if you can get the BoxyCharm and get it in there, then that's a great deal. So there they are right there. That green is so pretty. It's like a, I don't know, mossy army green kind of a color. Just beautiful. I do have this one on um, applied with Matte Fix Plus today. So you can do that. You can apply it wet or dry and it kind of like changes the way it looks a little bit, but they're still super intense, even applied without any kind of a mixing medium to like kick them up, uh, kick them up, kick them up, kick them up a notch. They really don't even need that. They're already super intense just by themselves. So loving that. Also on St. Patrick's Day, I wore this. These eye pigments from Milk Makeup are so good. I'm just loving them. I keep wearing them. They're just really good. And this one is a gorgeous, intense green. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. I don't know why I'm swatching. Oh, do I do that? I'm trying to think about it. Do I usually swatch eyeshadows and blushes this way, but lip products this way? Have y'all ever noticed that? Do I always do that? Maybe I don't, I don't know. But I feel like I just naturally like went to, I, I don't know, I'm going off on a tangent, who knows? There's the eye pigment. It's just a gorgeous green. Y'all, I don't even know where my mind goes sometimes. It just, it, I, my mind has a mind of its own, apparently. So there is the gorgeous green. I mean, it's just super intense. They build on themselves really nicely. They wear like iron. I like to use them as a base and apply something over them. So I do have, um, what do I have? I think I have After Party on today under my eye look. It just like helps intensify the shadows and helps them last longer, but I bet that they would wear really well just by themselves. I just don't typically wear cream shadows by themselves, but I bet if I were to try that situation, just a cream shadow by itself, I bet it would work really well with these because I mentioned this before. When I swatch these, like it takes some intense scrubbing to get them off my hand. And I noticed that my eye looks just seem to stay more vibrant when I wear one of these. I love them. And then definitely the star of the show, the thing that I could not put down this week was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. And this was the all about the inner corner highlight and kind of creative out of the box unicorny highlight. It was all this. So this is a palette that I really, I don't know. I've kind of like gone back and forth with how I feel about it. Um, I remember when I like first saw swatches of this, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna need that palette because that's amazing. And then I got it and I, and I liked it, but I wasn't like jumping up and down as much as I thought I was going to be. Um, but I kind of go back and forth because like this week I wore it and I'm like, man, I love this palette. I'm getting these all swatched for you. So I wore um, Lucky Clover on St. Patrick's Day. And then today I have on um, Blue Moon and Purple Horseshoe on my cheekbones. And then I have um, Pink Heart on the inner corners of my eyes. Do I have any of blue eyes? I don't think I have blue eyes, but I did wear that this week too. What did I just say? That week, this week too. I don't know. Okay, let me get these swatched for you. Okay, yeah, just looking at these swatches. I mean, this is a gorgeous, unique, creative, 
unicorny highlight sort of a palette. It's just beautiful. But I mean, it is out there. I mean, like my makeup looks a little weird, <laughs> but I kind of like it. Like it's just sort of artsy and creative. You know what I mean? So it's definitely that kind of a palette. What really like inspired me to bust it back out is I've really been tempted by the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I've been eyeing that ever since it came out, but I'm like, no, I have the Moonchild palette. Like it's just very similar, but I really liked the texture of that palette of the Alchemist. So that's what was really tempting me. I like the packaging, it's cool looking. Um, but anyway, now that I've revisited, revisited this, I really do love it. I mean, it, it's gorgeous and just super unicorny and beautiful. Another eye favorite this week is this liner. This is a very kind of like springtimey sort of a liner. I love this. This is one of the new Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte Gel Eye Crayons. I got this in gratis from Sephora and I got the shade Mist Me, like a mist outside. Mist me question mark. So cute little play on words. So it is a gorgeous lavender. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I have this on my lower lash line today. It's just super creamy, super pigmented. It just glides on the eyes. It wears so well. Really my only complaint about these, and honestly I don't know about the matte ones, so I can only speak to the regular line, is I love how pigmented they are, how creamy they are, how long wearing. I've just found that they dry out pretty quickly, like in the actual container. I don't know if the matte ones are gonna be the same way, but I just noticed that about the other ones. I love them, I just wish that they would last a little bit longer. So hopefully the mattes might be a different situation because I want more colors. I really want the pink one, I really want the light blue one. Oh, but isn't that just like, that just like screams spring to me. It's so beautiful, I'm obsessed with this. For lips, I randomly picked up this lipstick from Ulta this week and I really like it. This is the Essence Matte 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 in 04. So I almost wore this today to show you, but I really wanted to wear this nude to show you. And also we had a lot going on with the makeup. So I decided to go with the nude versus this one, but this is so pretty. So I wore this yesterday and not only is it a gorgeous color, but I was so impressed with how comfortable it was to wear, but how long wearing it was like it just, was really impressive. Like it really kind of like set down to my lips and it was still comfortable, but it starts out pretty much just matte, like a satin matte sort of a finish, but then it really sets down and it, I don't know if it stained my lips or if it just stuck around. I looked in the mirror like hours later, I wasn't eating or drinking, so that's something, but it was still there. So super impressive like four dollars so that's amazing they have some reds i kind of want a red i don't need the red but i'm thinking about the red so anyway that was definitely a bright colorful lipstick favorite this week and the nude that i'm wearing right now is this one from ofra this is the ofra long lasting liquid lipstick and this is in nude potion so this is part of the i went and grabbed this set just so i could show it to you this is the ofra and nikki tutorials collection this is so pretty. So it comes with, I have this all swatched on my Instagram. Um, it comes with the highlighter and then three different um, liquid lip colors. So it just comes as a collection, like as a set, as far as I understand it. But I do have a discount code. It's an affiliate code, just FYI. But if you want a discount code or whatever, I list it down below. There's never any pressure there, but that's just a little FYI. So anyway, this color, this is so Pretty. This is one of the most beautiful nudes. I mean, that's dramatic because I've, I've tried on a lot of nude lip colors, but this one is really beautiful. It's like a just very peachy, pinky sort of a nude. Um, it's a light nude on me. Um, so it really like my lips are pretty pigmented, so it does kind of blank out my lip color, but like I love it. Like it's it, it blanks out my lip color, but it doesn't, it's not like too light. Now I do have on um, a liner. Let me go ahead and swatch the liner that I have on. I just have a little bit of it. That's a bad swatch, but that's okay. These smell so good. That's a tangent, but oh my goodness. It smells like vanilla extract, so smells amazing. This is a beautiful nude. The liner that I have on, I just have a little bit just on the outsides just to give the tiniest bit of dimension, 
but it really doesn't change it a ton. This is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner, and this is in Bear to Comment. I've mentioned this on my channel multiple times. I love this liner. It's beautiful. And they're just like a pretty little combo. So there they are there. It's gorgeous. I love this lip color. I think it's such a beautiful nude. I really, really love their liquid lip, lip, lip colors, liquid lipsticks from Ofra. They're just one of my favorite formulas. And yeah, so that's a really exciting collection. I love the box to it. I think it's a beautiful collection. This is definitely my standout so far, but this is the only product that I've worn so far. I went with that first and I think it's amazing. This releases on the 29th. Yes, March 29th. So coming soon, very soon. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.